So here is our little boy doll that we got, and he is going to be the first makeover out of the three. So let's get him out of this outfit, get it into the laundry, and let's get him cleaned up. Now this little guy here, he is a Kedora Reborn. So let's get him out of his little outfit. It's kind of a cute little outfit. I just want to get it into the wash and get it cleaned up. And we'll, we've got another outfit for him. We went shopping at Once Upon a Child. That was so fun. And found some cute things there. And so we'll put on one of those one of those little outfits for him. But first, we need to get his skin just kind of cleaned up. He's really not too bad. Look at his little face. Can you see his little face there? <laughs> With his blue, blue eyes. I did kind of, they were kind of dusty and so I kind of have preliminarily wiped them down. And then he's got this little bits of mohair hair that's rooted. And here are his, his little hands. And he doesn't have a lot of paint on him. And we're really, I'm looking into possibly fix him up a little bit more and maybe add a little more paint to him um, to just kind of increase the whole reborning process. He's got the cloth body. And then here are his little feet right there. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot of paint on the vinyl or blushing. So we'll have to decide if I'm brave enough. I may do some practice runs on some other dolls, practice on them first, and then we'll go ahead and maybe try on him and his sisters as well. And we'll be doing their cleanup in another video. So let's go ahead and start wiping him down. Okay, so what I'm gonna actually use for him are these natural clean little wipes from Pampers. To just kind of give him a little wipe down. We'll start with his face. Just kind of not trying to take off any paint, but definitely want to take off any grime that's on there. And let's roll him over and get the back of his neck. Let's do his little arms. Kind of get in the little finger creases. This little arm here. Let's do his little legs. All right, so now that we have him kind of all wiped down, let's get him dressed. Put a little diaper on him. I think we're gonna have to go shopping for bigger diapers because we have been buying the um, smaller sizes that fit our baby alive. He's just a little bit, well, he's quite a bit bigger than our baby alive. So these might be a little snug, but that will work. He's already starting to look just a little bit, seem a little bit fresher and, and nicer. So here is the little outfit that we picked up for him that really looks like kind of like summertime with the little cute, cute whale. This is a Carter's outfit and it is a three month. And let's see, we got it for, for $4.50. And so it was a little two piece outfit. So let's go ahead and hope that it fits. Let's put the little top on him first. Oh, I love the little blue whale. Go ahead. Get your arm through there. Oh, look how cute it looks with his blue eyes. Let's pull it down here in the back a little bit. Well, that one's actually, it's got some room in it. Let's try the little pants. Aw, that's pretty cute on him, isn't it? The pants have to be a little roomy for those, um, his big wide thighs. 
So now let's do his hair. Okay, let's see about hit that little hair. See all that little bitty fuzz on there? Lizzie, that you know as, you may know as Bug on We Imagine, she got a little reborn, her first reborn, for her birthday. And that little reborn, it said for the care of the hair, that it was good to use like a wide tooth comb. And since he doesn't have very much, I started doing some further research of what people said for the mohair, the best way to care for it. And they suggested a traditional baby brush. And so that's what we went and picked this little setup from Walmart. And so it does have a comb and it has a little brush. So we're gonna use those on our little friend here. And we're gonna come up with a name for this guy. So here are them out of the package. And they're kind of cute because look at the, whoops, look at the little grippy on here on the handle. See how it's kind of nubby? So a baby I know would love to probably chew on that. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see if it'll fit in his little hand. Oh, look at that! So yeah, doesn't it just look like he would absolutely love chewing on that? I think he's gonna love this set. What do you think? Whoops, he dropped it. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll put that back in there. See if he'll hold on to it or not. Oh, so cute! Okay, so. While he's holding that, maybe that will distract him from getting his hair done. And I am going to use some of this um, synthetic wig conditioning spray that I have been using on the American Girl dolls on We Imagine. And it's, I love it. I think it does a really, really nice job. I don't know how it's gonna work on the mohair, but I think it'll be gentle enough. And it smells so good. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray his little head down here to make it wet. Kind of rub that in there. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it because it does. It smells so good. We got that off of Amazon and have been really pleased. I ordered in a different one and ugh, I didn't think the smell of it was very good at all. This little brush works really nice with his little hair. So we'll go ahead and start, start smoothing it down and back. So cute. And see his little, his little ring here. It almost is like a little calic right there. And Zach, our son number two, he had double calyx in the back of his head. And everybody said that was going to make him twice as ornery. <laughs> He's pretty ornery. He's also really a sweetie too. Oh, looky there. Starting to get some, getting, getting our hair all done. Mm -hmm. This one looks, this side of here looks just like it's got a little bit of curl to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Aww. What would it look like? A little more in there. What would it look like if we brush his little bangs down? that better. <laughs> Pretty cute. I think he can work it either way. What do you think? <laughs> Wipe a little bit of that off of there. He's got the little fuzzies. <laughs> Oh, I think he's looking pretty good. So do you like his bangs down a little bit? Do you like to be able to see those a little more? Or do you like those brushed tighter to the side? I think for now, we're gonna leave him like that. And then we can change it later. Give her a little bit of variety. It's a little hard to have variety with this short of hair, isn't it? But there he is. So, what do you think of our new thrifty find? Our little Kedora boy. 
So let's go ahead, we'll lay him back here. I'm thinking that we will call him Bryce and then we will, he's got a little, in the group that we got from the Facebook Marketplace, there's another K-Dora that looks, has the same face mold as he does. She just has a little bit longer hair. And so I think that we'll go ahead and we're going to name her Bridget. So we'll be doing her makeover next. So stay tuned for that video. And if you enjoy videos like this, we hope that you will give us a great big thumbs up. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Thanks for coming to visit in the doll nursery. Until next time, bye!